So, how did it go? Did you notice a trend when you were answering the statements? Uh, were you finding that you were leaning towards fact or opinion on certain types of statements? Were you um, disagreeing with whether or not those statements were factual or opinionated or even borderline statements? What were you confused about? Now that you've gotten a warm up to playing around with identifying what's factual and what's an opinion statement, let me put those questions into context. So I pulled them all from a Pew Research Center study done in 2018. Pew Research Center is a nonpartisan fact tank that informs the public about issues, attitudes, trends that are shaping the world. Um, they look into what the public opinion is and the demographic research, and they just do various data uh, analysis and and really shares that out with the public so they're a great resource if you ever need um, data on various opinions or demographic information so in 2018 Pew Research conducted a study um, that explored how Americans distinguish the difference between factual and opinion statements. They put together five statements that were factual, five statements that were opinionated, and two that were borderline. They surveyed 5,035 American adults between February 22nd and March 8th. Of 2018. What they found out was that a majority of Americans could identify three of the five facts and opinion sets. It also showed that a fourth of the participants got most or all of these sets wrong. But for those who did do better, there were certain qualities to these people. Those are they were politically aware, they're digitally savvy, and they placed a higher level of trust in news. Another influencing factor was how people identify politically. So if you were more conservative, you may think that some statements are factual more than opinionated and vice versa, and same thing for liberal. So your political beliefs can influence what you think is true. So now that I kind of put some more context around why I had you answer whether a statement was fact or opinion, and how those results are influenced by different factors. Think about your own answers. Does that give you greater context for your own worldviews and, and skill sets and perspectives? Something to explore. So next, we're going to actually talk about what makes a fact and what makes an opinion. So facts are statements that you can and should verify. They're not based on a belief or a feeling. You do not try to argue in favor or convince the reader of a particular position. It can be proven through experimentation or observation. It's true regardless of what someone personally thinks about them. Usually uses precise language or measurements such as dates, locations, or numbers. And they tend to stay away from absolutes like everybody, always, never, no one, unless things can be measured or proven. So the opposite of this are opinions, their feelings, their views, thoughts, judgments, and beliefs that you cannot verify. 
Sometimes it's based on personal interpretation or analysis of facts and pre presented as a conclusion. Sometimes it's presented as an argument in favor of one thing or another. It cannot be proven or someone can have an opposite view. Frequently, it uses buzzwords and phrases like, I think you should, I feel, I believe. It uses descriptive or judgmental language, including the best or worst of things. Often uses absolutes like everybody, always, no one. So why is it so hard for us to kind of identify the difference between fact and opinion? Well, the first thing is opinions tend to appeal to our beliefs. So they must be facts. That's just how our brain works. We, we are drawn to what our beliefs are and we make it true. If it's something we disagree with, it, we are more likely to think of it as an opinion rather than a fact. Declarative statements fool us too. It must be an opinion sometimes. Um, and in conclusions, conclusions aren't always facts either, right? So they're just somebody's opinion of how they've put together all these different facts. So what you need to be asking yourself is, is this something I or someone else can prove? Can I look it up in a history book or encyclopedia? Can I pull this fact from other authoritative sources? That's something you have to look into.